Tinkercad tips, I was asked by a follower about a tutorial for a twist lock lid. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. You may have seen these before. I'll make this part transparent here. You can see there's a groove on the tube on the inside, and in this lid, there's a small divot. Let's untransparent that. Let me go ahead and flip this around and lift it up, and I'll show you that part of it. See on the inside of the lid, there's these little divots that then follow this track in the container portion of it. So let's go through how to make one of these. This particular tutorial may run into two parts, so this will be potentially part one of two. Let's zoom out here. Let's go ahead and grab all of that and let's move it out of the way. We'll start by bringing out a cylinder here. Let's make it smooth. We'll increase the number of sides. And let's make it yellow for visibility. Holding down the shift key, I'm going to stretch this out. And then let's say click over here and let's make this 75 millimeters. And we'll bring it up a bit. There we go. Let's quickly take a duplicate of that. We'll use that in a moment. We'll go back. Let's drag this up and out of the way. All right, let's hollow out this portion of it. So we're going to create a duplicate. I'm going to turn that into a hole. And while holding Alt and Shift, I'm going to reduce the size of that hole by 8 millimeters to make 4 millimeter walls. So that would be 67. So we'll say 67 millimeters. Let's bring it up a little bit. All right, while we have that, let's drop it to the work plane. My snap grid is set at one. I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to cursor up four times. One, two, three, four. So it's four millimeters off the bottom. I'm going to select the two of those, click align. Click on this cylinder to make it the boss. We'll align that direction and that direction. Select the two of those and group those together. So there we have our container. Let's make our lid for it here. We'll bring this down a little bit. Now we want this lid to be about three millimeters as far as the walls and to have a one millimeter gap on the inside. So we're going to need to Alt Shift, and we're going to make this eight millimeters larger. So that would be 83. There we go. Let's quickly align that to the bottom one to make sure that we're still centered over it. It is. All right. Let, let's reduce the size of this a little bit. There we go. All right. Let's hollow that out now. We're going to make another duplicate of that. We're going to turn that into a hole. Now we want that hole in the lid to be two millimeters larger than the cylinder, the bottom portion of it here. So this is 75. So we want to make that 77. There's our hole shape. I'm going to Alt Shift, make that 77. There we go. I'm going to quickly, let's bring up, oops. Let's bring down the size of that for a moment. There's our hole shape. Let's drag this back up, make it a little taller. There we go. All right, let's align these two. They're aligned that direction. They're aligned at the bottom. Now we want to bring this up by four millimeters, so there's a top to this. Holding down the control key, I'm going to go one, two, three, four up. We can reduce that a bit. Let's select the two of those and group those together. So now we have our lid. Let's go ahead and flip this around. Let's make it transparent. Align it with the bottom to make sure we're still in alignment. We are. Let's bring this down. And if we zoom in here, we can kind of look. 
there I've left myself a little bit of gap and you notice on either side I've got a little bit of tolerance built in. Alright, now what we have to do is to make the little divots and the trenches. So let's start with this half sphere here. Let's bring that out. Holding Alt and Shift, I'm going to click in the corner and I'm going to say 5 millimeters. And now we want a hole shape that's a little larger, so I'm going to click Duplicate, make that a hole. Alt, Shift, click in a corner, and I'm going to say 7 millimeters. Nope, let's make that 6. There we go. Now, what we're going to try to do is to keep these two shapes together for a while so that they stay in alignment between the lid and the tube. So we're going to take the two of these, going to rotate them over 90 degrees. We'll bring it up here. And let's align those with the bottom part. Okay. Now, for the moment, I'm going to hide this bottom tube. And I'm holding Control and hitting H. Now, what we want to do is to move that half sphere into an appropriate place here. So, I'm going to select all of this. Shift D, select the lid. And I'm going to move these down slightly to about there. Okay, and if we rotate it over, I want to move those up against the side of the lid here. Let's for the moment, let's make that non-transparent again. All right. Select all of that. Deselect. Move those back over. Let's zoom in a bit here so we can see what we're doing. Change our snap grid to point 1. For the sake of clarity here, let's just rotate this whole thing over. There we go. Might be easier to see now. Select all of that, deselect the lid. Now I can very carefully move these to where they will embed into that lid, the pink part. Now what I want to do is put one on the other side. So while those two are still selected, I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to click on mirror and I'm going to mirror it in the other direction. And while they're still selected, I'm going to move them over with the cursor keys. Zoom in. And we want to intersect. There we go. All right, now what we want to do is to join some of these things together. For instance, I want to select this whole, shift select this whole object. I'm going to group those together. I'm going to shift select the lid and I'm going to align the holes to the lid. Right there. I'm going to shift deselect the lid. I'm going to reselect the holes there. All right, while I have them, I'm going to go ahead and hide them. Control H. I'm going to do the same thing for those two half spheres. Select one, select the other, group them together, shift select the lid, align, and get those centered. All right, so those are centered in between now, and we can merge those together. All right, we're at about nine minutes here, so I'm going to end this one, or I guess we're going to go to a part two. So, as always, like, follow, and share. It's good for the algorithm. And if you have any questions or comments about this so far, feel free to drop me a comment. We'll see you in the next one.